Good morning, Arthur. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Previously, we made our way east, away from Coulter, and towards our current camp, which is called uh, Horseshoe Overlook. Uh, we kind of got access to the open world now, and we first followed up with uh, the Reverend who had gone missing. He was uh, drunkenly playing poker and there, nearly got hit by a train. <laughs> uh, and we also went into Valentine, the nearby town, uh, which is a livestock town, to, to kind of just get out and see the place. But we went with Uncle and the girls and kind of get some tips on uh, things that we can do to make some money. And so with that being said, let's jump back in. Good morning, Arthur. Hey there. Um, let's talk to people first. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. And how about you? Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell I'm you fine, another Arthur. time, okay? Don't make it weird. Okay, sure. Dude, I'm talking to Tilly. <laughs> Not you. Okay. Uh, how's Grimshaw doing? Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Good <laughs> work, Miss Grimshaw. Looks like some people are just getting up. Some are still sleeping. So, uh, let's uh, let's make a round here, and then we'll go talk to Hosea. All good there, Pearson. Still need more food, Mister Morgan. Yeah, you that's. Try your luck again with that bow. Yeah, uh -oh. that's. I will. That's one thing we really need to do. Molly. Good morning, Arthur. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Somewhere between crappy and crap. I know the feeling. Okay, let's uh should we hit up Dutch while we're at it? Seems like people are actually getting up, so. How's old Dutch doing? So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you gotta expect it's gonna happen. Morning, Arthur. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was hmm. fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Get down to biz. Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, uh, is it? You won't throw me? Oh, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty <laughs> little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big feller. All right, that... let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. That is a big horse. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> a 
and Davy was passed out so cold and we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. So, uh... Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. There, boy. Uh, get off to the side. I was say Mac and, and uh, what's the other one's name? Davy. Uh, Davy's the one that died at the beginning. Uh, after Jenny died before we started. Yeah, good boy. Stables are just up ahead. And Mac and uh, Davy were brothers. All right. Go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Okay. Yeah, we're going to set. Oh, wow. $65. Stabling your horse allows you to store it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to sell because this isn't, isn't mine anyway. Okay. Now, I'm not willing to spend money on horses, period. Uh, so we're just going to go with the $15. I, look how dirty she is. <laughs> that drives me nuts. Okay, my horse. Um, what did I call her last time? Because I've had her... I actually used her as my main horse. Um, Isabella, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll, I'll stick with my naming scheme. Okay, let's see. Tack and services. Equipment, appearance. I probably just leave things the way they are. Um, I'll probably modify the saddle later. I, I really don't want to be messing around with my um, money right now. It's not not worth it. I'll leave the color the same. Horse care package. What's that come with? I don't know, does she really need that right now? Probably not. Horse provisions. I'll do apples. Buy a few treats for her. Peppermint. Do horses like peppermint? Um, horse stimulant. Okay, whatever. Nothing but the best. Um, that's provisions versus tonics. Horse Reviver would be good, but I'm not really at the stage where I'm too concerned about that yet. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. 
Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. So I probably shouldn't have bought all the carrots. <laughs> Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something I, of it. Can I brush her real quick? Thank you. Yeah, when she's in Morgan, okay. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. <laughs> Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. True. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on one thing, but there's Cole. He knows he else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. loop around the other side so what do you think about Shaw you reckon he's all right who knows I sure hope so but it's been a while now somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater yeah I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off or got away if there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at it's wriggling out of things yeah yes we don't know nothing till we know Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. We <laughs> don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have <laughs> hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun of a... Yeah, throw it over the shoulder. I hear the bear. Okay. Let's pick one. I don't have a varmint rifle, so. Let's see, where'd you go? Quite a ways down. It is late, that was quite a ride.
Alright. Yeah, let's pick it up for now. Black tailed jackrabbit. I was trying to study it. <laughs> oh, game. The black tailed jackrabbit can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. As herbivores, their diet consists of vegetation, forbs, uh, buds, twigs, bark, and crops, which is why they are considered pests. A varmint rifle is ideal weapon for use when hunting rabbits. Rabbit pelts can be used for crafting, and their gamey meat can be used for cooking. Cool. All right. Good job. All right. Getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Let's see. Oh, did I do that? Oh, I, I got it. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Okay, <laughs> playing game. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Still the rest. Which means you get off one of these. The rabbits aren't that big. I'll have one more. Okay. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Gotta be careful eating bear meat. Was it a trichinella that you can get from undercooked bear meat? Stuff. Let's go. I could be wrong on that one. I don't remember what it is. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. 
How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. I don't have my I don't have my uh, repeater on me. <laughs> Probably should have grabbed it. <laughs> That'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? The tracks go into those trees. See that. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. on the ground just here there she here watch your step looks real fresh reckon he's got to be close let's keep going i think i heard a full elk damn it looks like the trail ends here we lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? <laughs> do not split up. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. The rifle Hosea has is what I would typically use for this. But it's going to be a while before I get one of those. Okay, potent 
predator bait attracts pristine predators in the vicinity. Now we wait. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well... Oh, he's going down. You I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. <laughs> By he, I mean uh, that could be him or me, but uh, we'll do our best. Okay, let's uh, let's see. I wonder how a bow would fare. Go through it, Peter. Give it a try at least. Up to three. Oh, I can store three. Okay, never mind. Say, so can I have four horses? We gotta show you. Well, I hope so. Way off. I hope we have a trail, considering we, uh, you know. Literally had him running, I mean. Okay, what was the... There you are. Must be near. Okay, those tracks were not there before. Near as in, let's not overthink it, I guess. What do I feel like I saw it? That's it.
still running. It's a bad gun for this. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Looked like he was going to come for me. Oh, I got him. This is a terrible weapon to be hunting a bear with. Okay. That is a big bear. Okay, legendary pelt. So, this is going to seem really stupid, but I am going to drop the skin because legendary animals automatically get sent to the, um, or the pelt, sorry, uh, automatically get sent to the trapper, so, which is where it would need to go anyway. Um, legendary Barati grizzly bear. Uh, okay, I see. The legendary um, Barati is, a, is endemic to Okray's run. In the Grizzlies East, this bear is larger than any other that has been spotted in the region. The distinctive scars across the face and body make this creature easily identifiable, as in omnivore. Its diet ranges from berries, roots, and grasses to deer, elk, fish, and carrion. I do believe uh, bears tend to like rotten meat, so that would uh, factor out. Long-range weapons like a long-scope rifle, which Hosea had, or a bow with improved arrows. Okay, I don't have improved arrows. Um, will give you the advantage when hunting this animal. Killing this animal will give you the opportunity to craft a rare talisman. I do want to do a couple of the talismans. And I'd like to do all of the... Um, yeah, we'll just leave you there. Um, I, I would like to do all the legendaries at some point, or try to at least. Uh, so... Like I said, I know it kind of seems silly to be dropping it off, but they automatically get sent to the trapper. It's just going to take up space. And I'm not going to the trapper. Now, the Morgans, which is the breed of horse I have, uh, the only reason I don't plan on using her is mostly because of her size. So, uh, I, I actually used her once um, for uh, quite a quite a long time. Uh, I eventually lost her, but Let's get you cleaned up. Uh, coming from an equine specialist, not me, from somebody else. Um, apparently, horses like this are just way too small for Arthur's build, and it makes me feel bad having, um, you know, having her as my main horse when that's the case. So, okay, so we got one legendary animal off the list, and we are way the heck out there, so we are going to head towards Valentine, we'll see, um, go right there, we'll see what time it is by the time I get there, I might just come back later. Depending on what time time it is. Yeah. There you go. The legendary animal was sent to, sent to the trapper. Or the parts at least.
Please help! Please! What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh, oh yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. So it's not too far from here, I don't think, but... We a long trip home. Another reason to not take the pelt. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Yeah, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Well, good thing I came along. This is kind of a pretty area, too. Boy. Oh my god, it is a boy. I named my boy horse Isabella. Oops. <laughs> I thought it was automatically a mare. Okay, I guess I gotta rename the horse. If, okay, if you're not an Isabella, do I name you Isabob? Is it Bobby? I don't know. <laughs> Gotta come up with something, I guess. I just realized I could see the testicles, and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a boy. Now. Just a little further. Sounds very industrial. Looks very industrial. <laughs> Not as industrial as it could be.
We're just about as far east as you can possibly go, too. Last place Arthur would want to be. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. So do I need to rescout my path? Slightly. It's gonna take me from the south and so i say let's track to here at least this is gonna be a long ride so let's uh oh my god I have to clean the horse. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> Somehow they put my bonding up. Seek salvation. And maybe you shall find peace. We're getting close. And maybe you shall see. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. That which is killing you will help you finally to see. And see clearly, friend. See and hear. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Okay, more. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. People are so rude. I think I'm being chased by a dog. <laughs> Look out! Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. You have a fine evening. Hey, get on already! Watch it! For Christ's sake! Come on, people. What is your damn problem? Look, it's okay. I don't want no problem with it. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's his. Who's your friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? I don't think so. 
Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Hmm. We'll check them out. Well, if I can. Yeah. There. I imagine I can. It's on the map. Okay, you really need to be brushed, all right? I could use a bath too, to be honest. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that, until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> and we need him alive! That important point alive i got it benedict albright selling harmful substances as miracle medicine he's on the run though to have remained thought to have remained in the vicinity of valentine let's get him At least I stayed on the horse this time.
Found him. Okay, there. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, uh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, are you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me now! Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! <sighs> really do not like This is going to be hard at night. Keep your 
Come on. I should be able to stand at this point. have a mighty fine horse if I don't say so myself. I think I will be taking that. Okay, let's see. Can I get you on here? Sure can. Let's go, girl. Every time. Too far away. Okay. Well, no big deal. Possible. Don't think so. I say I don't know if I have a. Oh, oh, uh, sir! I think I must be suffering from exposure. Exposure to what? It's the middle of the night. Close to. I seem to keep blacking out. This, uh, Sir, I, I must this. warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut. Who made you judge? This is one of my uh, favorite horses. So. Lord, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. She's here awfully late. Oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. Not be too late then. Huh. 
Hungarian half-bred. If yeah. you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. <laughs> I'm not selling this. Six dollars for a Hungarian half-bred? Dude. Uh, we'll uh, stable for now. Okay, so we got a... <laughs> let's see, how do I rename? Um, let's retrieve. No problem. Yeah. We'll get it. Okay, let's... Uh, I think upgrade... Services, rename. Okay, what do we say we're gonna name her? Um, uh, Furlan. Okay. Isabella is a Furlan. Okay. Oh dear me. <laughs> That's an odd name. Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, settle up briefly. Certainly. Let's switch them out. Upgrade. Services. Let's do um, rain. Okay. Good choice. And my Hungarian half breed. Okay, good. It's a mare. Yeah. So this is a. So if you see it, it's a war horse, uh, which means and apparently they're actually really good for the fact that so being a war horse, they don't jump. Uh, they don't, don't get too jumpy with gunfire, but also apparently uh, they're rather stealthy. So let's saddle okay, her up. Okay, I'll switch them out. Upgrade. Now that's a proper name for a horse. It's funny because it does actually regulate names on this. I think that's really odd considering uh, some of the stuff it regulates. Some of it I understand. Some of it's, uh, it's like really rock star. Okay, so let's, um, let's take her out. Since it's this close to, um, since it was this close to uh, sunrise, I decided to turn around uh, because I think Arthur needs a bath. Did not realize um, Albright took us that long. We got some serious bathing to do. Someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? I'm literally in the bath, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> So, um, how'd you like some help in here? Speaking of that, uh, no. Maybe another time. I, uh, okay, maybe next time, honey. came across a video where if the girl comes in, they swapped it with Dutch. <laughs> and, uh, it may have scarred me for life. You know, so that's a thing. And then I went to read the comments, and uh, I'm not going to comment on exactly what they said, but uh, that got me to laugh even more. And scarred me all the more on top of it. So, you know, imagine uh, Dutch giving Arthur a bath. to help each other. 
How about you, sir? Hello, Hello sir. mister. You get a lot of money doing this? Not much, but it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Oh, I do. And who do you help? I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Bit antagonistic there, Arthur. Take one walk through this town and the horse gets dirty. Okay, we're gonna... Now we're gonna go to Washington. I'm scared because I never thought I'd ever watch you take a bath. I have to rethink things, rethink many things. See the info. Okay, Hungarian half breed, half bred, uh, dapple, dark gray coat, which is what I wanted. Okay, that's my girl. Okay, girl. I actually got the gender right this time. Uh, do you need food? Feed. We always feed. Okay, let's uh. Good to see. Morning, Arthur. Let's uh, go hit up Pearson because I probably have stuff I could get, give to him. Let's do. Um, I don't think I have anything for crafting. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Yeah. Which I venison. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. The game, take it. I don't need it. Um, I'm going to keep the flight feathers, animal fat, yeah. Good job, Arthur. Stringy meat, sure, take it. Gritty fish meat. Where the heck did I get all this? Well, uh, it's better than nothing, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Okay. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Yeah, we'll do this stuff eventually. I'd like to at least try to do, try to do it. Let's see what we got. These are basically the animals I'm going to be looking for. Satchels, I'm not going to do. I'll get these off the list, though. Pronghorns, I should have kept an eye out for those, because I've seen them a few times, but they're easy to find. The wolves are going to be a little tricky. Appreciate it, Pearson. Okay. Well, the food's good, so... Is there anything I can donate? Just because I haven't donated anything. Um, let's see. Contribute. Um, let's see. I'll give a little bit of money. I'm not going to give a lot, but I'll do... So you do four, do 31, get rid of my change. Oh, come on, there we go. Good work, Arthur. You boys are 
Okay, and then let's check the... Uh, can I not do this yet? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, camp upgrades. Let's talk to Molly. Lovely <laughs> morning. So I didn't even get to sleep. And then, and then the boat comes down with the play. And men are dying like it's a race. The parson, he can't keep up with Okay the there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. <laughs> Indeed. So we did what? We went hunting with Hosea and did a bounty overnight. So I think Arthur deserves a, a, you know, an entire day's sleep, don't you? Both your parents newly dead. No one looking after you except some Good morning, scumbags Arthur. you meet on the street. Arston, folks starving. Desperate. How old were you? Nine. It's nine years old I've been living on my wits. <laughs> Chance to see that. Well, that'd be a joy. You know, I'll tell you, sharks are nothing compared to human beings. Now maybe Mr. you're right. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. <laughs> Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? Oh, Miss Grimshaw. Um. Let's, uh. Let Arthur sleep. I was actually gonna considering uh, having him shave too, but so well, let's let him sleep the day. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, took a day off and went off hunting with Hosea. He really seems to be getting his strength back a bunch, although he was lucky not to die as this big bear he'd been after turned on us. I thought when we was, when we was stuck up in the mountains that the cold and the misery would kill him and we'd bury him like we buried Jenny and Davy. But he pulled through and he'll live a while yet. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways, I love Hosea even more. He's, ki he's kind and fair and like a human being. <laughs> what a low blow to Dutch. Um, Dutch is something else. This bear was also something else. Size of a goddamn hotel. It was, uh, it was and mean with it. And there's a drawing of the bear, so that's how we started this off. Okay, met a strange guy, thought he was a prophet, blind, and I can't remember exactly what he said. Um, yeah, he does, uh, his, his, his words do mean something whenever he says something, which I think is really cool. The more you hear him, the more that all makes sense. Uh, met some old drunk in Valentine, claimed he was a shootist, seemed more like a clown, some poor fool was writing a book about him, or trying to. Levin was the name of the writer. Jim Calloway was the killer. Apparently, Levin needs more information. Ask me to find a few folk who have been uh, who have spent more time in publicity than me and knew old Jim back when he was a real killer. Their names are Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, and Black Bell. I kind of wonder if those are based off of real people. Oh, there's the picture of them. Sounds like a, a troop of clowns. 
We shall see what kinds of people those who want to be famous murderers is. My hopes are not too high. <laughs> and there's a horse. Very nice. Okay. So nothing about Benedict Albright, but... All right. That is a good place to close things out. Uh, to recap, so we started off by going, by kind of just checking on people in the camp and then going out on a hunting excursion with Hosea, um, where we tracked down the legendary bear. Um, so we weren't quite successful initially at killing it, and Hosea decided to come back home, but we were able to take it out ourselves. No damage taken either, which is uh, uh, good for me. Uh, we also uh, found a um, woman on the way back who we ended up giving a ride to Annisburg, which is quite far out east from where we are. Uh, her horse had died on her or her friend's horse, technically. Uh, on our way back, it was pretty late, but we uh, stopped in at the saloon in Valentine for a drink uh, with a one Theodore Levin, who was writing a book about a gunslinger named Jim Boy Calloway, and uh, uh, gave us some pictures of gunslingers he wants us to go out and collect some information on. And then we ended off essentially by going after our first bounty, uh, which was Benedict Albright's, and... Uh, we ended up getting my preferred horse, my main horse, which is the dappled dark gray uh, Hungarian half-breed. Uh, so that was that was actually one of my main goals, um, to get that horse. So uh, quite an eventful, ev eventful uh, episode. And so uh, we're back at camp now, and uh, you know we'll probably pick up by following up with Javier next time. Uh, with that being said, let us officially close things out for the night. Uh, thank you all for joining, and I will see you all later.